Okay, so portals. <coughs> um, what you're going to need to do is make sure you select your collision because this is where your 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 collisions going to be your walls technically. Yeah. So with the model, everything will be invisible. So you want to make it where it's physically you'll be entering and exiting. So what you need to do, you need to come down onto here, click on editable mesh. Okay. You need to select your vertex tool, which is this one here. Once you've selected your vertex tool, you'll now get dots everywhere. You need to make sure you select select and move. And then you need to select each corner of the door. So if, as you're facing it, you'll start from the bottom right, top right, top left, the bottom left. And that's, that's how you do it. And to get the corners, you need these. So what you need to do, you need to open up your YTYP, edit mode, okay? You go down to your portals. Which are here as you can see our portals are different so the top line should correspond to these three as you can see they're completely wrong you can copy paste them or you can manually do it I'm gonna manually do it just for the purpose of the video just so you can see that I'm not gonna whiz through it and you're gonna miss anything and then you can see like for like what I'm doing okay so you must make sure you copy the exact digits and leave the rest of the zeros. There should be eight digits to the right of the decimal. Okay, so where this decimal is, yeah, you see this decimal? You need to have eight digits, which is four, then four. Okay, always gonna be eight digits. Nine times out of ten, you only change the first three and you leave five zeros to the right of it. Sometimes you only change the first two. It all varies. It's all just it all varies. I mean that's that, that's that's all I can say. But now I know that's the first one. Okay, so two four six seven, which is that minus two four six seven by the way. Then it's minus zero point two four one zero point zero zero three. That's that's the first corner. So now I go on to the second one. And then I come back to YTYP. You'll see a pattern. A lot of this will be the same. Okay, so this will be two. The mo most of the ones that will change is two, two of them will be nine the same, two of them will change, which you, you will see. So this one's going to be the same, but then this one's changing. This is 152, but it's 2.152. Okay, so you can see that again now. Yeah, 2467, 241. Two, one, five, two. That's minus, that's minus. Yep, that's good stuff. Now you click the other one. You get these coordinates again. Come back to your YTYP. Then it's going to be the same again. Two. Then this is going to be a different figure now. It's going to be nine, nine, seven. Yeah? But there's no minus now. Okay? Now this is going to be two, one, five, two. So as you can see again, minus two, four, six, seven, zero point nine nine seven, two, one, five, two. That's that one. They, the last one. It should be. So this is the exact same all the way down. Okay. This one will be the same as that one. Then you've got these zero, three, 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 three. So you just delete them. So then, as you can see now, there's a quite a swift pattern. The two middle, yep, these two are different. But then these two are the same. Top and the bottom are the same. Two in the middle are the same there. Okay, so you can see the pattern there now, right? That is how you do it. Uh, eight two five six. That is basically telling you that the portal goes from the limbo because you've got rooms okay so it gets going from your room uh, from the limbo to your room okay which is what this is so limbo is always zero in your room oh, that's your first room which is your room id okay this is what i was talking about room ids last time so that is that i'll save that and once i've saved it i now need to Go back to where I'm streaming it. Delete the old one. 
this in here. What you need to account for as well, in the file, you'll have, if you just search for portal, you have a portal count. So we've only got the one portal count going from limbo to room, to the room, okay? So if I had two windows at the front as well, I'd have to change this figure to three, okay? Um, but for this room, I've only got one portal count for this room. But if there was, uh, say, the three three windows and a and the door, so this would be four because it's from limbo to the room, and this is the portal count for the room, which would be say there's three windows, a door from the limbo to the room, and there's another door going to another room. This would be five because there's going to be five in this room. I hope that makes sense. Um, it can get a bit confusing sometimes, but um, you, it, it'll make sense. When, when, when you do it more, yeah, it, it just click and you'll know exactly what you're doing. Um, yeah, I mean, this is obviously saying limbo to, uh, limbo, sorry, to my room, okay? that That is as simple as it is. However, when you're doing limbo stuff, you need to make account for your number of exit portals, which anything that is going to the limbo or from is an exit portal. If it's just room to room, it's not an exit portal. So therefore, you totally up at the end and make sure you put that value in here, otherwise you will crash every single time. Okay, so now that's done, we can hopefully load this in and we can go on to the next stage where we're going to start propping and stuff like that. Um, so far, hopefully you've got no problems, you're at where I'm at and you're ready to finalise your first interior. Okay, just to show you the effects of finalising the portal, um, ignore that door on the floor, I'm going to move that. Um, basically, I can walk in and this is your room. Uh, check for any floors, uh, run around, just make sure you don't fall through because uh, you may have a hole somewhere. Uh, other than that, I mean, this looks pretty square to me. Obviously, the door frame would be beautiful if it was in here. <clears throat> but for the purpose of the tutorial, I won't be doing that. I'll let you use your imagination. And you can do what you want and how you want to do it with. But this is complete, I would say, to a point. And... You're all good to uh, start propping away.